What's good, YouTube? It's Rage Rail. So, in today's video, I want to show you guys this gun tight Y off mini scheme part one. So, if you enjoyed this video, go and drop a like on the video right now. Go ahead and sub and turn those post notifications on. So, I'm actually in the Jets offensive playbook. Again, I'm in the Jets offensive playbook. Now, um, I actually really like this formation. And some of you guys may know this formation. It's somewhat uh, meta. It's not super meta, especially in regs. But in Mutt, when you start putting like route cams on people, you can actually make it you know a lot of unique route combos out of this but as far as today's video i'm gonna show you guys one play that you can literally use to dominate any defense um and it's cool because we're going to utilize the same motion but we're going to be attacking two different sides of the field so whichever you know setup we want to use and those are going to be the two setups that we talk about in today's video and also if you guys are here man i truly appreciate you guys checking out my content and if you don't mind could you go on my community page and actually vote um i actually put up a community post asking you guys if you'd rather me do scheme based videos like i'm doing now or would you rather me just do like full gameplays where I actually show you guys my scheme, you know, different schemes that I use in previous videos. Um, that's how I'm thinking about doing that. So in case you guys like maybe like a trip tight end I put out or if you like like a, a gun doubles I put out or something. Then I'll like go back over them and show you like, hey, they still work, you know. So that's what I'm thinking about to give you guys some more content and make the uh, my channel a little bit more interesting, you know, because Madden's getting in the little decline stages. So I'm not sure if you guys want to learn new stuff or not, but I'm going to have a mixture of everything. So just... Uh, go and vote it. I would truly appreciate it. But regardless, uh, I'm not going to talk about personnel. I'll mention that whenever the video starts. Uh, that's when I'll talk about actual personnel. But the things I like about this uh, offense, they actually have a nice inside zone. Um, they also have this jet touch pass. And they also have the jet pass, of, you know, the fake one where they actually do the jet touch pass. Um, there's different blocking styles on it, which is really, really cool. Uh, those are the run plays that they pretty much have. But uh, as today's video, the only passing play I'm going to talk about in this part one is going to be tight end corner and you can actually dominate any opponent really with just using these two setups because they're really good because your opponent's not going to know what's coming so it's going to be hard for them to try to account for what you're doing so without further ado man let's go on and get into it let's go to tight end corner now as far as defense i'm gonna come out in just a dollar look uh just because typically that you'll, you'll get you either get dollar or you'll get some type of nickel defense where it's 335 normal to you know where they're audible to 335 wide or you might just get you know 335 wide base or 335 normal base that's normal what you'll get and the reason why i do it like this because coverages are never going to change the only thing that changes is the defensive front so that's why i always keep my coverage shells the same because essentially that's what you're going to face and please pay attention when i tell you guys if it's zone drops it'll look like this if they zone drop it will look like that please make sure you watch that and pay attention because as you're going to see whenever i show gameplay it's going to be literally exactly how i'm talking about in today's video but regardless the coverage shells i'm going over in today's video is cover three cover two cover four drop and i'm talking about man coverage so let's go and get started with cover three all right so uh i like to run this personally um with this tight end corner play i like to run it with my two receivers right here to the short side of the field um so i like to have my tight end and my slot guy out here i like to have them to the wide side now for one it's a lot of good things too because when you run the jet sweeps it gives you more room to the outside and also um there's a lot of nice concepts we can use attacking this right side of the field and there's a setup that i'm about to give you which is going to attack the, attack the left side of the field so first and foremost for the first setup we're going to attack the right side of the field so we're going to take triangle we're going to put them on a streak and then we're going to take x and i like the smart route route but i'm not going to do it just yet i'm going to show you why first um but first, I'm going to show you uh, with the motion over. So you want to take this guy right here, motion him over. And I like to let him set normally. I like to wait for him to get right past circle. Then I'll go and snap him. Uh, well, with this play, you have to let him set when you do it that way, I believe. So um, when you're in game, you actually want to double team this in right here. But since I'm in practice mode, I'm going to go and spot him because you want to be able to get outside the pocket to that side. Now, you're banking on the fact that the user going over there to read R1. And then what you're going to have is actually X. But as you can tell, that route is ran really deep. So what you want to do to counter that is actually zone drop so let me just go ahead and show you that real quick and just kind of talk about the user and don't worry i'm gonna show you what it looks like small rider don't worry um now normally what's going to happen when the user gets this action right here their user is going to be somewhere right here you know and that's what we're waiting on um now if for some reason they're not what's going to be able to happen that's really cool is that this guy right here's going to run he's going to stop right here every single time he's going to stop right there so what that means is that we'll be able to play maker this guy up the field and i can't tell you how easy it is to keep dotting your opponent up 
whenever they want to go run with this and you know playmaker him up the field and actually complete a nice dot like somewhere up in here where my little cursor is can't tell you how many times we did that but oh uh, what i was going to tell you too is that sometimes you can throw this ball on inside pass lead if you forget the smart route him. but it's really really important to remember to smart route that guy's route because we do not want it that deep now i'm running the same exact thing so let's take x and actually smart route his route now so notice how it's a lot smaller so let me go ahead and uh, reset it see how it's a lot bigger now we're going to go ahead and make it a little smaller and i do apologize i live next to the train track so you probably are here in the train right now so take triangle put him on the street and uh, like i said i'm gonna spy this in right here just so i don't have to worry about doing it we're going to take that guy, motion him across, and then what you're going to be able to see now is that we'll be able to have a nice dot. So let's see if we get the motion snap. There we go. We get the motion snap. So right here, you can tell X is going to be wide open right there on the sideline, and that's why you want to smart route that route because when you smart route it, it's ran to where uh, they can't actually play it stock. They have to have some type of zone drop to actually be able to play that route uh, combo out there. You can tell right here, the purple is going to get pulled down, and that's what's going to allow this to get open. And what's cool, like I said, is that the user will have to play this little route right here so if you can picture these spies not being here then of course you can tell we'll have a wide open person you know you can tell you can kind of throw him open or we can playmaker him which i'll show you here in a second so um actually no i'll show you right now then we'll go ahead and keep it moving um so let's go ahead and take x smart this route take triangle put him on a streak and then we're going to go ahead and motion that guy across and i just want to show you that we can smart uh you want to snap him not that close because we actually aren't able to get him but notice how we're able to pull him playmaker him right and then uh we could potentially throw it now i did rush that throw obviously you'd want to wait half a second or you could playmaker him wherever you want to so just wanted you to know that that playmaker is really uh really op especially if you you know if the user is trying to pursue that uh corner out that's why i like to uh, have that in that so right here cover two um because i want to move a little faster so let's take x smart route his route Let's take triangle, put him on the street, and then we're going to go ahead and motion that guy. Like I said, you normally want to just double team that in, and you want to wait till he gets past circle. Um, now, if you can't motion snap him, that's fine, but normally it's better if you do let him uh, like motion snap. So right there, you can tell uh, X, we're going to be able to get right over the top of that cloud every single time. You will get over that cloud <laughs> literally every single time. Um, just want to kind of just show you, you know, how I'm getting this open. So right here, like I said, the user is normally going to kind of hit what the user normally would do. They'll actually follow this for half a second and then they'll come back and actually try to lurk right here. So that's why I said when he pulls up right here, a lot of times the user is going to be right here because they're going to be expecting that drag route to continue. Because it looks like a drag. They're going to be thinking it's a little drag. Um, then he's going to stop. And a lot of times either A, you'll be able to throw it right here because the user will be like right here on you. Or B, you can just hurry up and grab him and playmaker him up. You know, or you can, you know, have this. And if they zone drop, then this guy, of course, would be like what? Right here, right? So if they zone drop, then what? We will just check this ball down literally right here. So you have, you basically have a three-way three -way read. You have one, two, because you're reading this flat defender. And then you have a three where you're reading a user. And if the user, you know, doesn't play this, we'll throw it. If not, we'll playmaker up the field. You, so that's how you can kind of play around with the user. That's why I said this play is actually really overpowered, to be honest with you guys. Now, cover four drop. I'm going to go ahead and press just to show you worst case scenarios. Cover four drop with press. So triangle on a streak, of course. We're going to take that guy, motion him across. Uh, I think I did spy that person. So, like I said, you want to try to motion snap if you can time it. If not, that's fine because uh, it is a timing base with the motion snap. But regardless, worst case scenario, um, they actually let them come back and play it. Uh, don't worry about that. Let me see. That's cool. They let them come back and play it. Uh, Praxmo sometimes does that. Um, but I do want to show you it does get open versus cover drop. I'll show you off coverage this time. Um, cause like I said, I hate this. I hate that I say practice mode cause then I get you guys saying that, oh, it doesn't work. But then I'll show you in game. It definitely does work. You know, <laughs> so sometimes it's one of those practice mode things, but, uh, but I was trying to tell you most of the snap is always going to be able to let it work a little better. So notice how right there, we are going to be able to have that dot. So I'm gonna try it one more time with uh press. Cause I like to, you know, show you guys consistency. You know, I don't like having question marks on my videos. So let's take triangle, put them on a the street, go and uh, try to, let's see if we can get this motion snap. Go ahead and press. I forgot. We're going to press that. Can we stop the ball? Nope. Okay, cool. So we we'll reset it. I forgot the smart riders route. I think that's might have been what it was. But regardless, you can tell right there, we're still gonna be able to have it. Like I said, sometimes it's just things where you run it one time, it works. If you run it again, it doesn't work. If you run it again, it works. I, I don't know why it's like that, but yeah, you like I told you guys, you could definitely run it versus code for drop press. You know, just wanted to make sure I mentioned that. Now, man coverage. Um, so this is basically a universal setup for man coverage. So I'm not gonna talk about man coverage in the second setup. Um because what I like to do is take X, I like to smart route his route, and I like to take triangle, I like to motion snap him. Now, um, it's very important. Oh, also, you want to take circle, put him on a zig route just like this. Now, these zig routes, basically, so if they're playing any style of um, shading where they shade over the top, then these zig, this zig route and this route right here will get open every single time. And also, this route will, too. 
but if they're putting purples or anything like that you really want to look for triangle or you want to look for square to r1 that's basically how your read progression is going to work uh so let me go ahead and just kind of show you why, why i like this so triangle is going to do a nice job of getting open r1 is going to do a nice job of getting open and the reason i like it too is because of the spacing that we that gets created when we run this little route combo now uh, of course g alexander just completely beat up that receiver out there but you also are able to motion snap this, I believe. I'll test it out here in a sec. I believe you're able to motion snap this route, which means that these press animations won't happen. But look how he sticks, sticks his foot in the ground. So notice how he, he starts to get separation, but obviously he got bumped. Now, in this case, you know, you could probably have a tight end if that happened in a real game. But on a normal circumstances, he's actually going to get like a man-beating cut route. You see how he kind of cut and get a little boost, but he ran into the person. Um, unfortunate, but that's what it is. But on this angle route, we all know angle routes are going to torch man cover, so that's normally going to be your first read if the user does not go there. But what I want you to pay attention to is the spacing. Look at the spacing. Um, it's even better whenever they don't run into each other. But we have an easy pass lead here, and we have an easy pass lead, you know, up in here. So it's going to mean that the user has to choose one. So the user can't just sit here in the middle and you know play both, basically. So that's why I said I really like this route combo right here. Now the zig route, of course, is really not going to get open versus man coverage. Uh, pressing. Unless it's just that good of a matchup, but you guys can see exactly how that happened. Now, I'm running for you one more time just so you can see, um, because you need to know how to be able to beat man coverage, especially with this play. Now, you don't have to smart route X's route. I just like the smart route to take circle, put him on a zig. Let's see if we can motion snap this. Yep, so notice how we now he motion snaps. So notice how he's able to get a little bit more of a cut. And now, that's just jeer being jeer. Plus, if they have that deep path there, you want to wait until it's to the sideline, um, which I I'll show you that here one more time. But don't expect that to get open with jeer. Just because, I mean, it is Jir, you know, Jir on uh, allows you more, you know, that's that's not going to happen. But uh, anyways, uh, I'm going to show you this one more time. But really, your read progression is going to be tri R1, triangle, and then you want to come back to square. Uh, that's what I found worked best. So what I was trying to tell you is that sometimes you want to just wait, wait, and then you may be able to have him on the sideline. Now, if they're putting a the D-pad, it's not going to be there. Um, then you want to take the running back read. So the reason I let that route uh, progress, which I want to talk about really quick, is because I'm assuming that this guy is in a purple. You know, that would be me assuming that. So if they're playing two deep halves, uh, what your read would want to be is either this running back route or this route right here because this route actually gets really good separation. So I will put a good route runner here because this little move right here, if you have a decent route runner, it's going to get that much separation every time if you have a decent receiver. So if you wanted me to be honest, I would say your two reads because think about it, the user cannot cover both. They cannot. And both of these routes are going to kill man press coverage with two deep, two deep half safeties. Now, if they start putting this guy in the purple, then guess what happens? We'll be able to have this route. So if you could picture this guy right here, if you could picture him down here covering the running back, because let's say they dropped it like a 15, then what do we have here? We have a nice little 25, 30 yard throw, right? So now you can start to see why I said that you can really just use this combo and give man coverage a lot of trouble. So, you know. That's one of the things I love about man coverage. Now, second setup. <laughs> I'm sorry this video is kind of long, but second setup. Uh, let's go ahead and get into it. So, for the second setup, what I like to do is actually go and take square, put him on a streak. I like to take a circle right here, put him on a hitch route, and then take X and put him on a drag, and then we're going to motion this guy over. Now, one thing I want to say if they're playing cover three and they're not zone dropping, for whatever reason, this streak route by square is not going to get open. Um, because it's gonna it's gonna make this play not be able to work. So I just want to make sure I did mention that. So if they're playing cover three standard with a press and they're actually pressing the uh, receiver out there, then it's not gonna open up how we want it to. Uh, so I'm just getting absolutely hollered at right there. But it's not gonna open up as want to. So um, I just want to make sure I did mention that that it's not my favorite play. Now, if they're playing off coverage and that cornerback's off, or if they're zone dropping, then this setup is still gonna be money. So again, that's X on the drag circle on the hitch route and you can smart route triangles route if you want to um hopefully i don't get hollered at like i just did uh like i said you can motion snap this route but if you can't motion snap it it's fine um but basically what's going to happen you have a read between r1 and then you're going to see triangle right there just break for about like a 25 yard throw to 30 yards so they're going to put a deep zone drop just to even account for that and this play is good because uh it's going to give the user too much to worry about because if they're on the hook curl you're going to have this throw right here all day if they're on the hook curl because what's going to happen is that this hook is going to have to respect this route. And if this is the user, then he's in trouble already, right? Now, if this is the user on this other hook curl, then um, he has to play this angle route right here, which means that what? Boom. We'll have that open literally every single day. We'll take that every single time. Now, cover two. Uh, it's going to be the same exact thing, which is really, really cool. So we're going to take triangle, uh, no, square, excuse me, put him on a streak. We're going to smart route triangles route, but you don't have to. Take X, put him on a drag, circle on a hitch. And then we're going to go ahead and motion them over. Now, I, like I said, I love to motion snap this pretty much every single time. 
Um, and I think it just gets a lot more separation. Look at circle up wide open, and then look, triangle is going to just sit wide open. They are going to have to zone drop that. And so no matter if they play a hook curl or a vertical hook, no matter which one they play, your hit route will always be open. They have to man this up or play some type of match coverage that actually matches onto this route. Um, they have to because this you'll just be able to throw this all night, literally all night. And if they don't zone, zone drop correctly, you can actually have this drag route, you know, or you can have what? This route right here if they're not using it. So that's why I said this route is just really, really good, this little route combo. Now, uh, last thing I'll show you is cover for drop, and then that's going to be the video. Um, so a cover for drop is going to be literally the same thing, square on a streak, triangle small route, X on the drag, circle on the hitch. And then we're going to take this guy, we're going to go ahead and motion him across. And this motion over post route is just so money, honestly. It's, it's really money because that streak is going to do such a great job of pushing back those deep zones. And you can tell the user has to go there. But the problem is the user is going to be stuck in the middle. Why is he stuck in the middle, bro? Because we just ran the other route combo where we took triangle, put him on the street, and we're motioning the same guy over. So they're not really going to know which combo that we're trying to attack them with. And then maybe, you know, we come out here. You know, you can tell right there we can have a little rollout corner route action. So that's why I said this offense can be really, really annoying to stop. You mix in the runs and everything like that. And you got yourself a little scheme, man. So... Honestly, I hope you guys really do enjoy this. Uh, let me know if you like this. Drop a like if you enjoyed it. But anyways, I hope you guys have a blessed day. I'm Rage Real, and I'm out.